Miami's main public library on the bay. If you like it here, remember it as it was, because pretty soon here is going to be a park. In a year, the library will be in the new cultural center downtown, which may be neither here nor there, because a library is much more than a building, more than books even. Margarita Cano will tell you that. She's the art services administrator at the main library. For instance, February will be Black History Month. So? We contacted an artist that we have known for several years, Purvis Young, who lives in the Overtown area of the city of Miami, and we asked him if he would like to do for us a, some paintings, and uh, he was delighted. We had bought paper for him, but he said, no, I want just to paint directly on the wall. First, we were a little scared about that, but then we said, well, why not? I was astounded. I found that the walls had all been covered with sketches that had an incredible theme, and it was absolutely beautiful. Some artists don't like to talk about their work, Purvis Young will, about the overtown voices he hears as he paints. They just shouting how they feel, like, you know, something not happen. They mostly want, there's a job. If I could do some kind of miracle, well, I'd give everybody a job. He watched the president last night on TV. You weren't too knocked out with what the president had to say last night. No. Would what I see here, would it tell anything to the president? Yeah, I'm looking at people's man used to working, you know, don't want nothing from the government. You know, I see people's wanna wanna work, you know. That's all that's all they live for is a job. Hey, your voices from the people's. On February 22nd, in this very room, they will have a seminar. It will be entitled, The Artist as Social Critic. Purvis Young will be here in more ways than one. Maury Alter, Channel 10, Eyewitness News.